I am Joshua Wheeler, and this is going to be my first Ironman. Well, in 2013, I was getting ready to turn 40, and I was looking for a physical challenge. And then one day, I got stuck in traffic and saw the 2013 Ironman folks go by on their bikes, and I knew immediately that's what I wanted to do. Never rode a road bike and didn't know how to swim, so I knew it would be a big challenge. So last year, I was signed up for the 2014 Ironman. When I was in the water warming up, it was uh, pretty relaxed. A lot of folks were getting in the water. Um, there was some haze in the distance. When I was swimming, I noticed uh, some people were standing up and heading back towards the shore. And that's when it was announced that the Ironman was canceled due to a smoke impact. The most recent data at 6 a.m. this morning indicates that air quality is hazardous to human health. So I'm a firefighter for the U.S. Forest Service. The King Fire was on the El Dorado National Forest, just southwest of the Tahoe Basin. And the smoke was generally transported winds were coming out of the southwest, and a lot of it was just sitting right over the Sierra Divide. The King Fire was the reason why the, the Ironman was canceled. It was very difficult for me emotionally, and I remember uh, tearing up immediately and staring at the buoys, and uh, it was really, really hard to turn my back on the buoys and walk back to our shore. Being a, a wildland firefighter, I think it definitely gives me some advantage in some ways um, in fitness-wise because we're expected for long endurance and walk, hiking in up and down hillsides for 24 hours. But being able to be on our feet for that long a time, it's definitely, a, you have that endurance and that mental aspect to be able to keep going. After the cancellation of the uh, 2014 Ironman, we were resent back up to the King Fire where we spent approximately 12 days this was be my first time I've been to a fire where I had an emotional attachment that affected me to some degree. About my third day on the line, a bear came out of the green and along the fire line and was walking around and I realized how important it was for me to be there and to help protect the environment and to see the devastation and realize the impact on myself was only a year's worth of training in relation to the impact in the environment. It was gonna take generations for it to come back. And at that moment, I realized that I had my sense of closure and I was recharged at that point and was looking forward to next year. Being a Truckee resident, I'm very excited to be able to be able to race in my own backyard, having the Lake Tahoe. I mean, it's clear water, it's beautiful, you got a big climb. It's just a really pretty place. Finishing my first Ironman, especially after two years, I think I'm going to feel proud. I stuck to my plan, I stuck to the, the training, and not only did it, I felt like I improved myself over the last two years. I think it's going to be just a great day. I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm really, really excited about participating in this.